Michael Mastro, welcome to my YouTube t channel. Today we're going to talk about the chart for Alex Jones, who is a very popular conspiracy uh, radio show host. Uh, if you look to the eastern horizon when he was born, you would see the constellation. This is a rectified chart using Vedic sidereal zodiac. Uh, if you look to the eastern horizon uh, when he was born, you see the constellation of Social Week associated with Virgo rising at six degrees um, and six degrees becomes the most effective point that means that Rahu, K2, Saturn uh, have a lot of impact in this chart because they're within five degrees as well as Moon uh, of the rising sign and Venus uh, so a lot of impact in the chart uh, First, we're going to look at the um, karmic uh, things that uh, Alex came here to learn in this lifetime, and we can see those through the multicona signs, which are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11. So, uh, first we'll look at the, the ruler of the chart, which is Mercury, um, sixth sign of Virgo. So he's come here to connect with his life purpose, um, gain some fame. Then we have the seventh sign of Libra, ruled by Venus in the second house. Again, learning about wor being worthy of having wealth and fame, as well as stability in the marriage. He did have one divorce. Then we have the ninth sign of Sagittarius, ruled by, by Jupiter. In the fourth house, again, stability in the marriage. Um, then we have the eleventh sign of Aquarius, ruled by Saturn, in the sixth house. So learning about um, conflict and legal issues. And then the first sign of Aries, ruled by Mars, in the eighth house. Um, learning to manage the drama in his life that he has created and then we have the fourth sign of cancer ruled by moon in the house of income so learning about being worthy of having good social connections friends and income and then we have the fifth sign of the sun in the uh, 12th house and the 12th house is about learning to separate from who you are to play a certain role as this conspiracy uh, TV uh, host. They actually call have a name for what he does. It's called performance art um, with rhetoric and, and conspiracy theories. So uh, let's look and see how the planets are operating in the chart and then we'll see when they're operating and what could be done to remedy the chart. So uh, first off, uh, any multicona signs in the 6th, 8th, or the 12th house uh, become functional malefic as uh, along with Rahu and K2. So we see that the Sun, Mars, and Saturn are all functional malefic along with Rahu and K2. So the sun is weak in old age at 29 degrees and cannot promote or protect its own significations. It's conjunct Venus, uh, which brings some uh, separation and loss in the house of uh, entertainment. Then we have an investments, and then we have the uh, moon, which has a weak dispositor, uh, close to the most effective point, um, and it is ruling the house of income. So it brings income through public uh, speaking, second house of speech, uh, and uh, gives him fame and wealth. Then we have Mars in old age, 20, uh, it's functional mythic as well, and it's um, uh, ruling the house of drama and conspiracy and secrecy um, and gives uh, ink, let's see, uh, so it, it uh, is placed in its own sign. So yeah, so 
he's he has the ability to create drama and conspiracy. Then we have the weak, poorly placed Mercury uh, at 17 degrees, and it is ruling the first house. So it gives, uh, and it's placed in the sixth house of conflict. So it gives controversial speech. Um, it's it's you know he's he's involved in several lawsuits that involve the you know the legality of free speech versus um, defamation of character by speech that is uh, lacks truth. So then we have a weak Jupiter at zero degrees, and that's uh, you know in called an infant state. It cannot protect or promote its own significations. So this week Jupiter is ruling the house of happiness and family. So he has issues with the family, uh, and got a divorce, and issues with happiness. He's, uh, um, and Jupiter is all about morality, and uh, so there are some issues of integrity and morality in speaking the truth. Then we have weak Venus at two degrees, an in infant state as well, close to the most effective point, and it's afflicted by sun. And uh, so it's connecting um, health with speech. So he is uh, selling health products. But this affliction of uh, Sun and Mercury uh, can also affect his life purpose. Now, uh, Saturn is functional malefic, close to the most effective point. It flicks the 10th house of career, 8th house of conspiracy and drama and, and challenges, the 4th house of family, and the 1st house. And so this brings legal uh, conflict through legal conspiracy theories. It's conjunct K2, which creates sudden losses and uh, due to public conflict. Now, Rahu and K2 are close to the most effective point. They're functional malefic. They're always opposite each other. And here you see this Rahu in the fourth and K2 in the tenth. That means he's trying to balance his work life with his home life, which is difficult. He's, he probably works really hard, uh, long hours. And and uh, K2 itself is afflicting Moon and Jupiter, which can bring some l lack of happiness, lack of peace of mind, and a lot of legal conflict with some health issues. Now, he claims to have sinus issues, and that could be related to the second house and Venus being quite weak. Uh, most recently on October uh, 12, 2022, he lost a billion dollars in a court case. Uh, no doubt he'll probably appeal it, but um, uh, it was during a Saturn Rahu period. And the most notable part of it is that sun, in, in the transit chart on the left, in uh, the outer circles where the planets were on that day, sun is afflicting Venus. So sun is losses, Venus is wealth, loss of wealth. Um, so what could we do to correct this chart? Now, he uh, you know, didn't find a lot of events in his life. He did get a divorce. Um, uh, on in March of 2015, that was during a Saturn Venus period. Venus's wife and Saturn representing a divorce, ruling the house of divorce. So, what could we do to strengthen the chart? So, uh, doing uh, charity work to uh, transform the malefics, which is Saturn, Mars, Rahu and K2, helping people who cannot help themselves. Uh, and then strengthening the rest of the planets uh, with a kavash, which is, uh, or, or gemstones for the, the planets themselves. But my favorite uh, remedy is the kavash, which contains the Devata Yantra for those planets that need strengthening in the chart. Uh, so 
if you are interested, you can see how um, easy rectification is in the system and how uh, it is able to predict things quite easily. If you're interested in getting a reading, go to bastucreations.com and we also have courses in Vedic Astrology, Vedic Medical Astrology to get certification. Thank you so much for listening.